What's up everybody, John Levesque here, and I am back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build your first flow. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already watched my introduction to Power Automate, and so you're familiar with the website, the community, the social media, all the various parts, how to get help, all that. And today we're just going to go ahead and jump right in to building your very first flow. And good news it's a useful one okay so i am going to show you something today how to take microsoft forms responses store them in an excel spreadsheet then email them and notify yourself in teams okay so let's go ahead and jump in and look at all the parts so the first part here is we actually have our community conference, which is part of our information we want to get out. There's a hackathon. There is a whole day of learning. It's free to register. It is going to be a super rad event, and I'm trying to get the word out however I can. And so I thought, what a good way to come here, make a video, teach people how to do something, and also create something useful for myself in the process. Okay, so what are the parts to this? The first thing is, we need a Microsoft form. So we go to forms.office.com. We go ahead and we make a form. So that's the first part of this is you actually have to have a form made. This form is very simple for the purposes of this tutorial. It's, it's literally three fields. It's a first name, a last name, and an email address. And they are all text. Okay, so they're all text fields. I just want people to type in those three things so that I can make a customized experience and get them as the, the information they want as quick as possible. Okay, so we have those three right there. Now, the next thing we need is we need a SharePoint site. And in our SharePoint site, we're going to go into the documents. We're going to create an Excel file. Okay, an Excel spreadsheet, and we're going to store it in there. And it's going to look something like this. So it also will map to our form. It's going to have first name, last name, and email address. And then what you have to do is, this is a very important step, okay? You have to make sure that you format as a table, okay? So let me go ahead and actually just show you really quick here. Let's make a new Excel workbook, just a blank one. And then let's just do like this. First name, last name, email address. Okay, let's see, spread them out here so you can kind of see. Did I put them all in one? That's awesome. Let's try that one more time. First name in A, last name in B, email in C. Now we spread them out. There we go. Okay, so they have, they're exactly how we want. We go ahead and we highlight them, okay, right here, A, B, and C. And then we format as a table. We click whatever color we want. I always use blue. We check my table has headers. That's important because we have headers, first name, last name, email, and then we hit OK. And then you can see here it drops you a little blue line. And then what I usually like to do is just go ahead and add all the borders, okay? And so then you can see if we hit enter, we can go down in the list. And so we know now that we have a formatted table, okay? And so that's two parts of our setup. We have our form, we have our table. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and close that new one. Now we also need a Teams channel where we want these notifications to go, right? And so I have a Power Platform events channel, uh, I have a general channel here, and now I made a requesting more info channel, okay? So all of the parts that I need ahead of time are set up. You will also need these things, your simple form, your Excel spreadsheet as a table, and a Teams channel, not a private channel, a public channel, because a flow can't post to a private channel, okay? So that's important too. A public channel where this information can go. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to flow.microsoft.com, okay? That is going to open up the Power Automate page. I'm signed in, so it's gonna look a little bit different for you. Once you get signed in, it'll look just like this. From there, you're gonna go ahead and click on Templates. From Templates, you're gonna click on Notifications, and then you're gonna scroll down to 
track Microsoft Forms responses in Excel and notify through Teams and email. And if you don't want to go through that process of clicking, go ahead and check the description. I went ahead and I left the link for you there. Okay, so let's go ahead and click in. What you're going to see now is this screen where if you don't already have these connectors authenticated, there's going to be little plus signs right here. You'll want to click those. You'll want to add in your credentials. You want to get signed in. Once you do that, go ahead and click continue. That's going to do a lot of work for you. Oh, boom. Look at that. It makes the flow for us. It just puts some things where we have to fill in some blanks, right? So let's go ahead now and say when a new response is submitted to our form, right? That's what triggers this. Our, our form gets filled out. And the form is the Microsoft Power Platform Community Conference, right? Power Platform Community Conference, correct. Then we say get the response details from the form. Which form? That's right, the Power Platform Community Conference form. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a row into the table so that our data moves from form to Excel, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to tell it what SharePoint site this form is going to live in. Okay, and so I have quite a few of them here. I'm going to go to SharePoint site power platform events, right? Because that was power platform events. That's where it lives. And then inside of that, we have our community events more info spreadsheet. So now that's our next thing. What's the document library? It's the uh, standard documents library under the Power Platform Events site. Okay, and then when we click on File, then it's the Community Events More Info XLSX spreadsheet, right? I click on that, and now I have to select a table, and that is Table 1, right? So we go here to the thing, we can see Sheet 1, our first table in there, Table 1, okay? And so now we're set up, and you can see that it's pulled in the fields, first name, last name, email address. Now this is where it starts to get cool because once we click into first name, we're gonna see this tray pop out over here and there's some stuff. Oh, look at that, first name, last name, email address. Where'd that come from? That came from the get response details. See that get response details. So when a new response is submitted in our form, get response details, then go ahead and pass us that info and then let's go ahead and tell it to go ahead and put it right into our Excel spreadsheet, right? So now we go ahead and put first name right here, just like that, click on it. Now we click into last name, and we click last name, then we click email address, and we click email address. Boom, simple as that, seriously. Now data will move when this form is submitted, it'll take that info, drop it into this Excel sheet for us, okay? Now we can say, we want that info to go to a Teams channel. So now, just same thing. We choose our Power Platform Events Teams channel. When we go up here, right, Power Platform Events Teams, requesting more info channel. So now what's our channel? Requesting more info. And then what is the message we want to say? And we can say, new information request. And we're going to go ahead and not have PII broadcast, you know, across our Teams channel. So we're going to go ahead and leave it very broad. Now, let's say you did want personal information. You could do something like this. You could say name, right? And then you could do click first name and then come down here again, click space and click last name and then email and then just like that. And now in that Teams channel, you would see that information popping up. Now, for a public channel, I don't request, I, I, I don't suggest this. Um, but, and so I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. But for your purposes, if you want that, you can actually go ahead and populate that information just like that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put this so that I just get notified, right? When someone wants more information, I want to find out right here so that I'm actually making sure that the process is taking place and that the next step is happening successfully. You know, Teams is a great notification engine as well. So now let's go ahead and move on to the most important step here, and that is sending the email. And so we have this to field. And so in the to field, I'm gonna go ahead and click in and click add dynamic content. And then look at that, we have the email address from the Excel sheet, right? And so we just pass that right in. 
and the subject is the power platform community conference 2020 and then now this is where we have some fun we can say hello first name comma thanks so much for reaching out for more info about the conference and now I'll take a second and go ahead and finish up this email and uh, I'll just go ahead and pause the sound so that you don't have to hear my keyboard clicking but then you can see exactly what to expect in this email and then I'll come back here and finish it up real quick Okay, so I have gone ahead and I have filled out the email and uh, I want to just show you a couple things here real quick to, to make this experience, you know, a little more refined, right? So you can see I added a couple links in here. I'm going to go ahead and just copy the text of those links. I'm going to go ahead and click this link button and then I'm going to add that link target and click open in new window and then say add right so this way someone is not taken away from the email they they can finish it same thing here I'm gonna click copy I'm gonna click link I'm gonna paste it in I'm gonna click open a new link I'm gonna hit add now it's an actual clickable link that won't take them out of the email it will just open a brand new window which gives them additional information and so now here's the coolest part about this you just saw me build it now watch me test it and and here's the fun part go ahead down to the description down there and uh, I'll actually have a, a, a spot where it says form link. Click this link to get more information. If you go ahead and click that and put in your information, uh, right now this flow will run and it will send you this email and you'll get this information where you can actually register for these events. Okay, cool, let's, let's check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And now I'm gonna say test. I'll perform the trigger, save and test. Let's see what happens. All right, perfect. Our flow saved. It's now listening. It's now, look it, look it. Goes into listening mode where it's like, all right, John, I'm ready for you to go and fill out the form. Okay, so let's go ahead over to the form. Let's hit preview where I can fill it out. You can do, the, you can do this with me. I am John Levesque and my email for this demo is this John at PowerMVPs.com and now I hit submit I filled out the form let's go back to the flow it's running oh a response was submitted it got details it put the stuff into the table it posted to a team it sent an email so it says let's go and verify are we ready okay here we go community events more info John Levesque John at power MVPs you just saw that appear right okay now over to the team's channel new information request okay so now i made this flow so it's saying that i use the flow to send this notification but if you'll notice it sent only the information i said no pii because i didn't want it there right okay and now if we go do i have a mailbox open oh no okay i need to go and open a mailbox let's see open my mail here we go Hello, John. Thanks so much for reaching out for more info about the conference. To get registered for the hackathon on October 21, head here. Let's click it. Opens a brand new link, right? Look at that. Registration for Hack with Friends. Boom. We close it. We can go right back to the email. If you want to get registered for the conference, the biggest show focused on community ever produced by Microsoft, head over to this link. We click that one. Boom registration look at that mission accomplished first flow built and a super useful one i hope you went ahead and clicked the link and got more information and more than that i hope you actually go ahead and register for these events uh if you watch this video after the event's over no problem that link will actually take you to the on-demand version of this content so you can watch that and still enjoy it no matter when you learn from this tutorial sweet okay so only a couple asks from me first one go ahead and click like 
If you thought this video was useful, go ahead and get subscribed so that you don't miss any more tutorials and then click that little bell so that you get notified as soon as new content comes out so that you can be the first in the know. All right, you guys, that's it. Much love from me. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Enjoy your first flow. Later. <laughs>